Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of The World Ends With You, the animation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm not ready. We are almost done with this, like, ah. You just gotta find out for yourself. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Oh, I'm not ready for this. This is. Uh, it's too much. Sad thing is, we'll never get to hear, like. Because I'm guessing because of the arrest, um, hell, they might even not release the full song of the what they were originally were supposed to do, but, um, I know, like, some people on Reddit have done, there was a radio edit, and they got it together and some shit, so I got to listen to, like, a minute of that three-minute song that was supposed to originally be the opening, but because of, you know, their arrest and shit like that. It, it was good, and, and it's sad that, like I said, we won't get to hear it, but honestly, I like this better in my opinion, but it would have been nice, um, because something tells me, like I said, they're not going to release that opening song on, like, iTunes or, like, Spotify or anything, because they, they just don't want to be associated with what the fuck happened. And who even knows if, like, the record studio was going to let them release a the song as well. I mean, he is emo for a reason. <laughs> Be. <laughs> I mean, honestly, his rocks is showing so fucking much, but, you know, it's okay. My God, Neku! <laughs> My face is 
baby Ryan, like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. I got beat. Bye, honey. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Mm hmm. Yeah, because we can't talk about that yet. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't wait until they dub this part. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't think that they would have talked about Eddie like so fucking quickly, but I mean, with the pace of this show and the fact that it is only going to be 12 episodes, of course. Them two girls, right? There you go! Mm -hmm. But it's still an all misunderstanding.
Just throwing it ain't that bad. <sighs> Thank God. Well, you know, to that good it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because we can't show that yet. <laughs> no, just come with her. See, but hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't she wearing the, like, the outfit she can wear? But, like, no, she's wearing a school uniform. to me. Wasn't this was supposed to? He was like thinking of a another idea or some shit. Mhm. Mm yeah, but you know, Eddie's just not gonna be into it because she's still upset. Yeah, but it's it's complicated. Is that one dude in the red hoodie is gonna pop up? Huh? Yeah, there he is! <gasps> Don't know. I wonder if that one's gonna show up that I had the hardest fucking time. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Everyone who's in color is technically kind of a reaper besides you guys. I don't even remember why he has to. Right, cheeky. That's what I love so much about her. She's so positive. baby I mean yeah you had to eventually tell her but <laughs> Remember this. Fucking Joshua, right? <laughs> you coming in? Gotta save my boyfriend. Because, you know, Joshua saved you. Yeah. Oh, cheeky. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm falling for him all over again, Jesus. <laughs> But I really thought that in the game, Ari is wearing the outfit that Shiki's wearing. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-mm. She's too personal, daughter. But you didn't get the chance to. Oh. Yeah. It's complicated once again. much oh my god but i love the way that they're doing this i mean yes like the pacing once again we're going to talk about this it's more like it's not bad i know a lot of people are probably going to say it is because they're going a little too fast but i get it if it was a 24 episode series i understand like yeah go ahead and take the time do a whole they're the fucking joshua um Take your time. Do whatever that you could. Like, you could do almost every single mission as much as you could. But because this is a 12-episode series, they have to do it very fast-paced. So there's going to be, like, little little moments that, like, you're thinking, oh, is this going to be in the anime? Is that going to be in the anime? So who really knows what the hell they're going to be doing next, like, for the next episodes? Because, <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh... It's her. It's like, because she he doesn't know, like, because of Neo, yeah, like, because you guys started your business and everything. There's a girl wearing a Mr. Mew hoodie, and it's so fucking cute. I just need Square Enix to fucking sell that merch, because, like, they're already selling merch for this show, and, like, oh my god, the keychains and everything look so fucking good. But I need them to start selling a mother effing hoodie or something. I mean, cause especially because of the fact is. Neo's coming out very soon, and I think it's like probably what by the time we finish this anime, the game should be out both for Japan and worldwide, I believe. Um, I just want to see more. <laughs> I mean, between like the the biggest thing is as I said last week by the end of episode one, I do I would like to see them show the new kids from the new series and such. Do I think they're gonna show them? Possibly not. I mean, yes, they're only going to really show one, and of course he hasn't made an appearance until, like, the only appearance he made was last week, so of course he's not probably going to make another appearance until eventually it is his time to show up officially. But if they do end up showing the kids from Neo, it, it has to be, like, the final episode-ish. Because 
I think what Namora said, he was going to do like something to like tie into Neo for the uh, for the finale. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure because I don't remember where the fuck I got my source for that shit. Um, but I was like watching something or reading something, and then I was like, oh, okay, that's a smart idea to do. I was like, I hope it's done well because my thing is as someone who because i think what i'm gonna do tonight is rewatch that like recapitation that i watched about a couple of months ago um this is gonna be a little bit of spoiler territory so if you if you don't want to know go ahead and end the video now but if you if you don't care go ahead from what i remember there's one the one ending where like um you repeat the final day Instead of you getting shot by Joshua or um, freaking show, you end up getting shot by Coco, I believe it is. Because then it makes me wonder if Coco is still going to show up in this series. And Neku just disappears. And the world or the underground basically, like, disappears or some shit. And it's saying that they're waiting for someone else. Is that someone else supposed to be the main character of Neo, The World Ends With You? And such, because it makes... There's a lot of un unanswered questions with that, like, one of many, you know, like, the true ending, the ending A, ending B, bad ending, whatever, this is that, and the third. If that's going to possibly happen in this series, because we're only on episode two, about to go on episode, B, uh, episode three by next Friday, and... <laughs> You're, you're sitting here wondering, like, how the fuck are they going to do this? Like, you know how everything is going to happen, but when you're looking at that final episode and how they're going to connect The World Ends With You with Neo, it's just like, okay, what the fuck are they going to do? Because, of course, now Neku's a blind. He, he dead ass, he looks like fucking Roxas now. <laughs> Roxas Ventus. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck happened between the end of this game going on to this game? To now, he's in a black hood, he's hiding his face from everybody, and then the one chick from Neo with the long blonde hair, who's teamed up with, like, um, the big old like, uh, not buff dude, but fat guy, like, why is she looking for him? And see, and now I'm asking questions about the damn game, so of course, still, we gotta wait until the fucking game comes out. But, I mean, there's a lot of things that Nomura and his team could really do. I mean, because, of course, they're done with this and, and such. Probably moving on to um, Final Fantasy uh, Seven Remake Part 2 and then possibly the next Kingdom Hearts game. Um, but at the time when they were probably making this, like, it makes you wonder, what the hell were they planning for that last episode? <laughs> because I would love to be a fly on that wall because, like, as someone who kind of remembers everything and at the same time doesn't so you're getting like I'm getting a new perspective from things that I'm like supposed to remember because I don't really remember almost like everything from this series um it just makes you wonder what fucking ending are they gonna do so yeah so hopefully I mean I'm glad that we also got to see like a little teeny tiny sneak peek at Joshua even though it's not really his time to come yet but you know um Tech, no, because he appeared last week, and I didn't see it. I ca I caught it, like, on Twitter, but, yeah, I was like, oh, shit. But, um, I think maybe either episode, halfway through episode three, maybe even episode four, he might officially make an appearance. I'm not 100% sure. But next week is the one thing that I am not ready for with my baby Rhyme. Like, huh, this is good. I'm not ready. Uh, I'm not ready. If you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, just you wait until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode two of The World Ends With You, the animation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode three. Bye, guys.